Greetings, YouTubians. You know, I'm a cartoon character, so obviously I love the cartoon arts. Anywhere between the pioneer of Fleischer to the beauty of Disney. But my personal favorite has to be Looney Tunes by the Warner Brothers. From laughing in the face of the Depression, from celebrating the ending of Prohibition, from fighting the good fight during World War II, from Pearl Harbor to D-Day. Now cartoons got their star in big theaters like this. Well, Looney Tunes was no different, for in September of 1930, they premiered on the widescreen. With the invention of television, audiences were able to watch Looney Tunes every Saturday morning in their own living room. Now I'm an 80s child. When I grew up, television had two advantages, the VHS and the cable box. Now, while the VHS was great because you got the whole bunch of tapes, I personally preferred the cable box. Stations like TNT would play a good half hour of them before a late night movie. It was like the old days. Unfortunately, dark times would come in the 90s, as during the PC era, most of the Looney Tunes that we all grew up with began getting severely edited. Most of them had cut parts from there, depending on their references, and some of them even banned altogether. It seems as though we would never be able to watch these things on television the same way again. Until 2003, when the Looney Tunes DVD came out. And then after that, there was another one. And then another one? Uh, this was great. This made you feel like a kid again. In my case, especially true. You see, these DVDs would come out in the stores in September, but I would wait until December to get them. My friends would get me them for Christmas every year. Every year it would be a surprise to see which cartoons and which special features I get. The DVDs were great, but unfortunately they ceased existence after the sixth volume. Now I said when I got this YouTube channel, I wouldn't use it to complain like many people do, but I just have to ask, what the f Are you serious? You're gonna stop at six? No. Now I've got the complete Looney Tunes and Mary Melody guide in a book by Jerry Beck and Will Friedhold. Now this thing lists all 1,001 cartoons. Seriously, 1,001, from sinking in the bathroom to engine trouble in 1969. That's 1,001. The DVDs only cover not even 400 of these. That's not even scraping the side of the barrel. How do you think I feel? I don't have anything to get you for Christmas anymore. Cutting these Looney Tunes off less than halfway is almost ridiculing it. It's like when they remade Friday the 13th two movies before a 13th film. It's like Airworld and Atari. It's, it's like Project ALF. If anybody out there agrees with me, please comment below, or write something below, or maybe if anybody knows anything, we can figure this out. Looney Tunes must live on in the DVD world. I'm Waddle from Watch Waddle. Thanks for watching.